What's up guys, welcome back to another video and this is a special one for me because we received our first sponsor package from a company and that company is JMPB Parts. I was amazed when they contacted me and they said they want to support the channel, support the Chao build. It's pretty mind-blowing to me that companies would ever send me stuff to support the channel. But here it is, here is our first sponsored package by JMPB. Now as you've seen in one of my previous videos, I ordered a lot of parts for the Chao from JMPB. And they saw the video and they were so grateful that I linked everything to their website and they want to give me something back for the troubles that I did. So they contacted me and they said, what do you need for the Chao to complete your build? We want to support you, we want to support the channel. And as you've seen in my previous video, the biggest thing that I need was a new exhaust. The old one was so rusty, it didn't fit on it anymore. So I said I needed an exhaust, I picked one out and they said, well, we're gonna ship it to you, enjoy it. So here it is the exhaust that i got i posted a picture on my instagram and on my facebook with me with the box and here it is so what's in the box not only did they send me a exhaust system they sent me some stickers of course a nice sticker pack all chow themed piaggio parking only other bikes will be crushed piaggio logos i love my piaggio and of course links to their website. All the links to JMPB will be in the description down below. Go take a look at their web shop, at their Facebook and at their YouTube because they support the channel so I support them. But here it is, the new exhaust that I picked out and that JMPB sent me and it is a techno exhaust of course with a techno sticker. Now the techno exhaust got a 22 millimeter inlet so we can easily clamp it on our Athena cylinder no spaces whatsoever also with the exhaust going like this we can keep our whole crank system and it's a really sporty looking exhaust so i'm really excited for mounting this exhaust the bike really needs it and it's gonna be a great addition a great look changer on the bike so thank you guys from JMPB and I am so amazed that a company would send me something like this I always dreamed of a nice exhaust on the Chao and here it is so let's get the Chao up here and start putting it on so we got the Chao up here and before I want to install the exhaust there's a couple of things that I want to do before I put on a new exhaust of course pull off the old one and clean this underside because it's already oily from running the bike and I don't want to put on a new shiny exhaust with this whole oily stuff right here because that's going to be nasty. And also I want to pull off the air filter and the carb because I want to clean inside of here. Uh, if there's a new exhaust under there and I start cleaning this, it's all dripping on the exhaust. And I want to install the better jet on this one. These are the jets that I bought when I first built the engine. They are a little bit too big. I need a 60 or in the 60-70 range, but I'm gonna install the 70. So it will be better than what it's in there now. I really don't know what's in here now. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off the exhaust, air filter, the carb, put in a new jet, clean this out, put this back together, and then we can put on the new exhaust. Okay, everything is off here and as you can see, yeah, that port is so oily. That is what a leaking exhaust does. So I'm gonna clean that up. On the inside, well, it's not too dirty, but I'm still gonna clean it. This is the old exhaust that I showed in my last video and as you can see, yeah, that's pretty rusty. Also, we got our air filter. Also gonna clean that out, that it's nice and shiny again. 
and here is the carburetor it's a 13 mil delorto shot carburetor so we're gonna replace the jet to a 70 jet of course there needs to be a 60 jet in there but i didn't got that i was 19 when i built this engine so i'm gonna have to order some more small range jets to get uh, this bike running perfectly we get as much performance as we can out of this engine but yeah I'm gonna clean this I'm not gonna show the whole cleaning process but what I basically does I spray it with this degreaser get a small painters brush brush it in and rinse it off that is how I clean all my parts how I cleaned the back housing how I clean frames how I clean wheels how i clean everything so it's a pretty boring process to film it's me just cleaning stuff so i will get back to you when it's all ready and clean Okay, I cleaned the whole underside. It's not that perfect, but it will do. As you can see, we got most of the oil off of there. So the new exhaust can fit cleanly. Also, the inside looks much cleaner. I put in a new jet in the carburetor. There's a 70 right now in there. I know I need one in the 60 range to get a nice air to fuel mixture, but I don't have it. 70 is the smallest that I got right now. So we're gonna fit that so we get a little more in the range that we are needed. So I'm gonna install the carburetor and the exhaust. The air filter box is still drying outside in the sunlight. So I cannot install that until the last moment when everything is dry. But for now we can install and check out the new exhaust. So fitting the carburetor is pretty easy. Just slide it back on. Now let's reconnect our fuel line. This is not the final assembly of the fuel line. I still need to put in a fuel filter. Now let's get the throttle itself back in place. Smooth throttle, engage choke, and it pops out when we give gas. So this is all mounted. Now get to the exhaust. Now this is the exciting part fitting the exhaust we need to do some modifications to assemble this to get a good mounting point we need to install this on our well cylinder rods we have to connect them right here but with a decompression valve you have to undo one nut and then install that standoff okay let's see if the decompression valve still works perfect Nothing is hitting. So now we can install the exhaust. So I got it on there. A little bit of fiddling, but of course it's a new part. What would you expect? And it looks absolutely amazing. Look at this guys, this. Oh man. I've been dreaming this from when I was 19 years old. When I rebuilt the engine, it looks absolutely amazing. Good clearance on the pedals. Even this side with the bigger pipe, we got enough clearance. So we don't run into any issues. Good clearance on everything. So we can keep our pedals. When we look at the stock exhaust, you can see it's a very thin right here because it runs straight through here and yeah that's restriction and we don't want restriction let me talk about the my whole setup a little bit i'm gonna do a dedicated video on this bike 
but we got a 65cc Athena cylinder and piston, a Molossi piston head, a drilled out cutter from 10 millimeters to 13 millimeters. Uh, we got a Delorto Shaw 13 mil. We got our Molossi air filter, our Tetno exhaust, and I can't remember which springs I put in there, but there are green ones in here with the stock pulley. So now the big moment, how does she sound with the new exhaust? I'm very excited, very excited to hear it. So let's take the bike off the table, get it outside and start the bike. Let's have a fuel filling shot. And there it goes, perfect. So I took the bike outside because I don't want to have any echoes when I hear the exhaust for the first time. And as you can see in the sunlight, it looks even more better. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this exhaust. It looks amazing. It's changed the look of the bike completely. And yeah, let's hear what the exhaust sounds before with the stock modded exhaust. Pretty dull sound, but now let's hear it, how it sounds with the new Techno exhaust coming from JMPB Parts. Links in the description down below to get your own. And let's start it. Choke on. Of course, I didn't install the chain. Checking for exhaust leaks. Absolutely zero. It's got that ticking sound that I love. And you hear it when it revs up. It sounds absolutely amazing. Don't die on me. Don't die. Ah, of course with the wrong jet in it, the carburetor not tuned at all and with stuff we still need to do. It runs a little sketchy, but the exhaust sounds pretty nice. No exhaust leaks whatsoever. So that is a good thing. So the underside of the engine will not be clogged up with grease and oil and whatever and it looks pretty nice it's absolutely amazing i'm pretty pretty happy thanks guys for sending me this exhaust absolutely i love it so yeah we still need to do a lot of stuff so we better get uh, get started so i got the whole bike up here again time to do some other stuff so what i did when i was home i cleaned the whole headlight assembly the inside so it's totally perfect right now i want to assemble it back so the bike looks more like a bike as i can see i'm gonna have to move around this cable because it's not in the right position it needs to be right here but now I know I'm gonna have to shorten this cable. It's a gas cable, it's normal. So I got the old hardware right here. And let's install this headlight. Okay, it looks like a bike almost again, but except for this. So I thought I didn't have the correct hardware to mount this whole back section, but apparently, I have. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna temporarily mount everything. I say it every time, this is all temporary because it's all is. Because when you are building a bike, everything will come together at the exact same moment. So this is mounted again. Let's put on the seat. Excellent. So here it is, almost completely back together. 
still need to mount the fender maybe i'll do some special thing with the fender it looks like a bike again we can sit on it we can ride it it looks pretty nice Let's take it out in the sunlight. So today we did a lot of work. We installed the new exhaust that we got from JMPB. Absolutely amazing. The techno exhaust changed the whole look of the Chao. We installed the headlights, still need to do the wiring. We installed the seat again so we can ride it again. But there's a lot of stuff we still need to do. We still need to install the brake cables, finish the cockpit assembly, tune the carburetor with the new jet that I need to buy. Uh, because there's a 70 in there right now and I need a 60 or one in the 60 range. Then we can go out test riding, dial the whole assembly in. I still need to do some transmission stuff, another V-belt, another pulley. Still need to do some clutch work because the clutch work isn't working as perfect as I want it to. Fuel system, still need to upgrade that with a fuel filter, get better fuel in because now the bike smokes a lot and that's because there is too much oil inside of the fuel so we need to tone it down a little bit because it was a new engine i wanted to have a more rich in oil so i need to address that get the whole wiring system finish up the tail end get the fenders on there don't know what i'm gonna do with the front fender because the front fender is busted but it's looking great right now oh Still remember we have to put the chain on to start it better but that is gonna be for in a another video i am satisfied with the results right now getting this bike running again i got this bike when i was 17 and it's still running and we are still upgrading it with a new engine so still lots of stuff to do and if you are looking for some parts for your own chow go visit jmpv they have awesome parts everything you need to complete upgrade and rebuild your chow. So that's gonna be it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Every single part that I use will be in the description down below. Also the website to JMPV parts. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one.